Well, I just woke up to a call and uh, I couldn't take it because uh, I'm late. There's the, uh, the guy who works daytime. Uh, he will be waiting for me in about 18 minutes at the uh, place where we drop off the car. I um, just counted the money. I was sleeping. And the reason I was sleeping was because I was exhausted. I was busy most of the night and uh, I did $390 of business. And I'm heading right to the bank so that I can deposit some of this that I have. And, yeah, and I needed the money too. I really did need the money. Because I got uh, some more expenses coming up. So I'm taking care of this now, and then well, I'm going to just make a quick deposit and fuel it and park it, and that's that. Yep. I was sleeping soundly until this thing woke me up. And I was gonna do the trip and then I looked at the clock and I went, whoa, wow. Yeah. As soon as I looked at the clock, I knew, oh no, I can't do it and I don't have the time. Because he's gonna be waiting for me. I think I was having some pleasant dream too when I was sleeping. Because any dream takes me away from reality is a good thing. Ah, I worked hard. I worked really hard. Yeah. So, I'm going to make my little deposit and I'm going to uh, yep, fuel up and park it. How much time do I have left? Oh, 16 minutes, that's really good. That's how much time I have. Yeah, maybe I'll catch up on my sleep when I get home. Or take, take up where I left off, because, yeah. I can't believe the Sunday was so busy this time. Time is now 4.16 in the morning. As you can see, I'm at the airport. I just dropped off a customer, and it was nice. She had no luggage. She's just going home to Manitoba for a short visit. So she just had a little backpack with a few things in it, and that was it. It was a $60 fare. She gave me 69 and so I got a grand total of about $300 on now, which is good which is just fine. That's what I needed was a run to the airport. And so now I can take my time going back into town. And when I get there, I can maybe hang out for another trip or two. Oh, but, uh, also, get the car washed. Get the interior dig detailed get get the um, fuel tank filled up and uh, park it then go home and go to the chiropractor and get my neck and my lower back stretched or decompressed as they say then go home and have something to eat, have a couple of glasses of whiskey and go to sleep. That is the plan. 
what else to do on a Tuesday morning. Yep, as usual, the day shift guy who worked Saturday, Sunday, and Monday did not wash the car. And he complained to me that the driver's side mat was missing. Now, the driver's side mat was missing since last uh, Thursday. Because that's when I met up with the owner of the car and he says yeah I washed the car at Mount Newton Crossroad and I I even did the, the front mat and then so I opened the door and I said well where is it he says oh shit I left it I forgot it in the car wash so that was last Thursday now it's Tuesday I'm gonna go to that car wash at Mount Newton Crossroad and I'm going to see if there's a mat there that belongs to this car. I frankly have my doubts that it will be there. But I have had strange things happen to me before. Kind of like that. So I will have a look and see if that driver's side floor mat is still there. Anyways, three more nights to go this week. Time is now 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. It is drizzling rain. Hopefully the car's not too dirty because I don't really feel like washing in the, in the rain. Um, it was a long, slow night. I did a lot of sleeping, I watched quite a bit of video, uh, I got 260 on, but that's thanks to a few longer trips, which really helped my cause immensely. Right now, I'm just dropped off, I think that's not the way I want to go. Confusing parking lot here with curbs all over the place. Yeah, okay, this way is out. Yeah, so I got 260 on. I don't think I could have done better with the sparse number of calls that we were getting. At least I got some sleep in. That means I get my second win when I get home. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, it's six o'clock. They're starting to come into town already. Yuck. Okay. First stop, the bank. Because there's a check in the glove box waiting for me. And the trouble is that the people who are just coming out and driving now are such bad drivers. You just get in your way and can't decide what to do. Yeah, yeah. With all these cars coming out, that's my cue to get out, get out of town, and to go home. Go home. Oh, it's raining harder. Uh, yeah, I hope I do get that second win when I get home. <laughs> Two nights in a row, I had a really strange customer. She was just strange. The way she described where she was going, and that she would say something, and then I'd answer her, and then she'd say, I'm not talking to you. I mean, it's not a bad fare. It was 12 something, and she gave me 14. Two nights in a row. But she's so strange and creepy. She's really skinny and has red hair. And she she lives in the same bunch of apartments that I live in. But she is just strange. I 
get a eerie feeling about her. I got the address I felt kind of apprehensive about going to get her I don't know why it's just some people just rub you the wrong way maybe she's doing some kind of drugs I don't know these cars. Yuck. Okay, well, I'll be getting to the bank in uh, two more nights to go this week. And, yeah, I think I'm going to just go straight to fuel up and fuel it up. This one was another slow night. It it started slow, and it was slow for most of the night. And of course, after about 11 o'clock, I would fall asleep after every call. And sometimes it would be an hour between calls. Only in the morning now, after four, did it get busy. And of course, at that point, I'm so exhausted that I'm cursing when I get another call. I just dropped off the very last one. It's about 6 o'clock right now. I'm going to go wash the car. Detail the interior. Fuel up and park it. Uh, just like yesterday, the grand total which I took in $260. Yeah. $260. And 160 of it is in Iraq. And the cash part will go towards my grocery bill. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have another 100 dollars in cash to do groceries and yeah Whoa. yeah it got to the point where I started watching video and the video would be six or seven minutes or eight minutes long and I would be asleep by the end of it each time I did not get enough sleep yesterday during the daytime that's for sure. Anyways, I'm heading down to the nearest car wash, to the cheapest car wash. I think I just have to wet the car. I don't need to really wash that much. Because it was washed before I got it. And it rained only slightly. Yeah. Okay, so I've booked off and now I'm just coasting. fall right asleep right here too. Uh, I have only one more night to go this week. One more night to go. Get some rest for it. All right. 
I said, one more night to go, I'll see you then. Or you'll see me then. Time is now 5.12 on the morning of Good Friday. What is that, the 29th of March? Something like that. And I've had a bit of an adventure tonight, or this morning. And the night was going okay. I had some good trips. I had some mediocre trips. Uh, it wasn't too busy. It wasn't too quiet. It was just right. In the morning hours, I was falling asleep a little bit, which was fine. I had no problems with that. Um, at one point I had been sleeping for about an hour, I guess this was at 4 o'clock, or 3.30, I don't know. The trip was at um, 3.44, so I'd say at around 3 o'clock I got sent on this call. It was at a homeless shelter, and it said it was for staff, which it was not. <laughs> but it was at a homeless shelter. I'm just checking to see the traffic light go green. So I'm looking under this visor here. No, not yet. So, called the phone number, because it said to call on arrival, which I did. And I went to... Guy got in, he was kind of hunched over, and he was carrying a couple of things, a couple of bags, and a toolbox or something, and he seemed to be quite cheerful, and he got in and told me where he was going, and he said, don't worry, I have money, I said, okay, I'm not worried, it's all good, you know, so I got him to the address, and Said, oh, go around the back. And there's a, you know, it's an apartment building with a parking lot around the back. And I said, okay. So I took him around the back. It was nine dollars and eighty-five cents. And he gave me a twenty and said, give me back five. So he was tipping me. It's all right. And he's, he was eating a peanut butter sandwich. And uh, then he. After he'd paid, he was getting out of the car, and he stood there, and his back was hunched over, and his legs were kind of bent, and he was just standing there with his back hunched over, and he was holding half a sandwich. He made a couple of funny noises, like, or whatever. And uh, then he proceeded to sink down lower. His legs were bending more, and his head was getting closer to the seat. And I was just watching him. What the hell's going on? And then I asked him, uh, you okay? Oh. Uh, just got something stuck in my throat. And then after he said that, he he leaned out of the car, and he was kind of leaning out, and but his head was down. His head was down, and his knees were bent, and his back was all bent out of shape. And uh, I asked him, "You gonna be okay?" And then he slowly proceeded to get further out of the car, but he was hunched over lower and lower and on his knees. He ended up on his knees with his head down on the ground. And then I got out of the car and I looked at him and I'm going, something is really wrong here. So I called 911. And I was talking with the 911 operator 
And she says, uh, is he conscious or, un or unconscious? I said, I can't tell. He's somewhere in between consciousness and unconscious. He's not really responding to me when I talk to him. And, uh, when, and she says, can you get him on his back? Can you turn him over on his back? I said, I, I don't think so. Anyway, I tried to turn him over on his back, but he wouldn't let me. He, 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 he stayed still. I wasn't going to force it. I wasn't going to force him. I don't like touching customers, okay? It's not my thing. I, no. Can you get him on his back? And I said, no, he's, he's fighting me. He, he, he won't get on his back. Oh, so he's conscious now. I said, I don't know if he's conscious or not. I can't see his face. He's, he's, he's got his jacket over his head. And, and I don't know if he's conscious or not. I don't know if he's having an epileptic fit or what. I can't, I don't know. And she says, okay, paramedics are on the way. And then um, the first thing that showed up was a big fire truck. And uh, I had to, I came around the house and uh, around the building and showed the firemen where he was and they weren't doing anything until they were just talking to him. Uh, and talking to him quite loud. Hey, buddy, can you get up? Can you stand up? Can you get up? He wasn't getting up. Uh, can you wake up for us? Can you... Whatever. You're going to be okay. <laughs> Anyways, then the paramedics arrived and they started talking to him. And um, they never touched him. They never touched him. They they just talked to him loud for a while. And uh, can you get up? Can you get up? Got your driver awful worried. <laughs> can you get up? You gonna be all right? Anyway, they talked to him for a good five. I don't know how long. Five ten minutes. And finally, he got up with his back hunched over, and he started taking his stuff and says. Oh, shall we call the, the police? Should we take you to the hospital? Uh, he said, no, no, no police, no police. <laughs> and um, he says, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be all right. You sure you're going to be all right? Can we help you? Can we help you get to your door? No, 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 I'll be all right, I'll be all right. He started grabbing all his things and started walking away around the corner of the building and went away. And he said, well, thanks for doing a good job calling us and so on and so on and so on <sighs> what was I gonna do I don't I don't like touching customers okay and I tried to you know move him by grabbing the side of his grabbing his back and, and turning him over and I, I, I wasn't gonna try too hard because he was he was resisting me so I wasn't gonna try I said, look, I can't turn them over to the person on the phone. And then when, when the the firemen and the um, ambulance showed up, I was off the hook. I just stood back and I watched. There wasn't anything that I could have done to to get him to move. But they all talked to him. They all took turns talking to him, and uh, that's they're experienced with that, you know, waking people up or getting them to. Move. To be conscious because I don't think he was quite conscious when when I was talking to him anyway that crisis was averted and then he wanted to pay I said no 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 you've paid already and I'm thinking even though you wasted half an hour of my time here you paid already and now the morning's gotten really quiet because it's good Friday and um, I've got like three hundred dollars on and it wasn't the night was actually quite pleasant for the most part. It was one of the better ones. I don't think I'll be taking a lot of people to work this morning. And now it's 5.20. I'm going to finish watching the uh, video that I started watching. And... Uh, Yeah, hope yours is better than mine.